Okay, so let's see what sort of nonsense we can dig up now. <laughs> oh lord, oh god, this is, oh jeez, this is bad. I did not even know that they made a Primal Rage on Game Boy. I loved Primal Rage in the arcade, and I even really liked the uh, Super Nintendo version. So, you know, credits 10, now time, difficulty, factory default, it's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, one player game, let's see, we have, we have Sauron, Talon, Blizzard, Diablo, Armadon, and Chaos. We're missing one. That's the seventh character. It was that, uh, like, elongated thing with its stinger tail. I apparently took Chaos. I forgot it would do that. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I'm trying buttons. Oh, hey, we... No. No, we did not actually find something. So, yeah, a big thing that was enjoyable about Primal Rage was the gore. The fact that your health was, you know, a beating heart. And you had a brain meter that would go down and you could be stunned if it went down all the way. This lacks both of those. Along with the gore of hitting the other people and causing blood to spray out. And our health is increasing, why is it doing that? I... Oh, that is our brain meter on the bottom, the health is the top meter. I did not even notice that, holy crap man. So I guess we'll just kind of button mash our way to hopeful victory, and, you know, either before the next match starts or when the next match starts, I'll pause it, and we'll go look up a move list because he's not going to give me the time to sit and figure things out. Yay, we conquered the cove, and there will only be five other opponents. Wait, what? I don't even know. Okay, Game Boy. Well, thankfully there is a move list. So let's see what... We have Chaos. Hold 1 and 2, move control pad up toward. Hold 1 and 2, move control pad towards away. Hold 1 and 2, move control pad away, up, away, down. Hold 1 and 2, move control pad toward, toward. And the only fatality they offer is the golden shower. The thing that wasn't even in the other you know, the Super Nintendo version, because Nintendo edited it out. So yeah, rather than, you know, the normal way of doing things, it's always these... things like that. So well, it's time to just spam moves, I think. Because I don't think we're going to, you know... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to beat Blizzard, so... Maybe we will try to, you know... Try Talon, I guess, after we lose against Blizzard.
Well, that was a failure. Maybe he'll do a fatality on me. No, no, they, they never do. Okay, let's try Talon out. Since he was my... No, no, we don't want to continue. What the heck was the name of that other dinosaur? Vertigo! Okay, there we go. Okay, so apparently the other dinosaur's name was Vertigo. She did, like, voodoo stuff. Always really liked yeah, that character. We can try Talon, or we can try Armadon. They were both pretty good characters. Although I don't know how their move lists will have translated. Let's go with Talon for now. Okay, up towards, down towards, down up towards, up down. Oh, we get a mirror match right off the bat. Well, at least Talon's moveset is very easy to pull off. I forgot which one I was for a second there. Oh, I'm gonna lose my victory because of that hit there. Well, that kinda sucked. Well, since, you know, this character does not have a freezing attack, which it can spam. We can, once again, pretty much win by button mashing and rushing forward. Oh, hey, another thing that I just realized isn't here. The villagers. The, the little human sacrifices. You know, the things you could snack on for quick health boost. Well, provided we don't end up against Blizzard again, we may actually be able to do decently well. Yeah, let, let's have less of the face ripping, thanks. Ooh, we can go for a fatality. Let's see, what does he have? The Shredder, hold one and two, toward, down, way, up. Anywhere? I guess anywhere. Well, there you go, folks. There is a fatality. Let's see who we end up against next. Hmm. Now, let, let's just try other characters and see what we can have... see what we can manage. Let's go for Armadon now. Oh, hey, it's another mirror match. Great, I can lose track of which character I actually am again. Ow. Come on. 
We're pretty much seeing the entire move set done by him. The spike tail throw, the uh, horn impale and throw, all that good stuff. I haven't seen him do my favorite attack yet, so let's see what that is. Let's see, there's this thing. This thing, the better nails. Okay, game boy up towards. There we go. And he called it the Iron Maiden for some reason. You just jump up and impale the other player with the spikes. And I'm taking a lot more damage than I'm giving, so that's not a good thing. We just want to see a nice fatality here, even though it will look horrible. Oh, come on. Come on, one more hit. There we go, okay. Oh, that actually worked. Oh boy, I thought that had him. Come on, one more hit. Okay, fatality. What do we got? Oh, right, I forgot. He has a stupid fatality. Now let's see how it looks. Towards, down, away, toward, toward. Come on. Well... I don't know, maybe they don't have it transcribed right. Oh, hey! There we go. Armadon creates electricity and it makes the opponent explode. Oh, absolutely not. I did not know which one I was. There was no knowing. Half the time I was looking at the wrong one. And so you saw me jumping in place a lot there. Okay, what does Blizzard have? Blizzard has the ice stuff and a punch that sends the opponent flying off screen. Chaos has the golden shower. Diablo has a fireball which incinerates. Sauron kind of devours his opponent's flesh, and that's pretty much it, because Vertigo was not included. There is another thing that's missing from this version, the sound effects. The creatures roared like the dinosaurs they are, and that was another thing that gave this game the flavor that it had, the enjoyability. So, yeah, this has been Primal Rage, one of crappiest arcade fighting fighting game ports that exists out there, I'm sure.